Hey everyone, Pete here, back with another fun one today. And in this episode, I have got some servo motors, well, more specifically, a encoded step motor on the prototype rig. And it's pretty cool, so stay tuned. So let's go over the test rig. If this isn't familiar to you, then I would highly recommend going to check out the video on how to wire a CNC machine. This is where this setup comes into play and it will kind of show you a bit more about what each element does so you can kind of get an understanding on how to wire a CNC machine. So all I've done between that video and this video is change the step motor driver to be one with an encoded uh, input as well as got a fault signal and a step motor with an encoder on the back of it. So these, these things I've never used before, but they are actually pretty neat. So it's basically just a standard step motor with an encoder on the back. So that's where you can see one, one connector, connection is just the step motor wirings, the four wires that you typically see for that. And the next one in this big D sub is the encoder position wiring. And the step motor controller is responsible for looking at what pulses come from the controller and making sure the motor moves accordingly. And if it doesn't move accordingly, it will trip this wire and signal to the controller, hey, look, whoa, stop. I've missed a step or the motor hasn't done what I expected it to do. I think you need to stop. And Fluid NC is clever enough to have a fault pin that we can use to halt the program and stop any progression going. These things are neat. I wish I'd come across them sooner, but they're brilliant. So let me do a quick demo on how this all works. I've got the same, uh, slightly different configuration on here. It's basically the same stepper motor port. So the wiring here is very, very similar to the previous video. And if you're unsure what this is, please check out the wiki. I will be adding a bit more explanation on how to interface between the root controller and the stepper motor driver. Basically identical, identical to the previous video. The only addition is this fault signal. So the configuration, I've added one extra line to look at that signal on the side here and watch when that changes state and flag a fault signal. Just like before, I've got my laptop connected via USB. You could do this over your phone, over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but I really like having my PC connected. It's very handy. So as you can see, I've got a very, very, very simple G code that I'm going to press the play button on. And these things move so fast, it, you can see the inertia in it when it tries to move. Ready? Ah, oh, my laptop went to sleep whilst I was doing this. Let me reconnect. Yep, yep, yep. That's the trouble with serial ports. The laptop is not going to sleep. Right, let's try again. How cool is that? Once more. All that was doing was going backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. And as you can see, no fault signals reported. So, let's do something you're not supposed to do, but do it anyway. Let's disconnect the step motor. Let's say there was ooh, a fault in the wiring and it broke. If I head over back to the PC again, I've got the same command and if I press play, straight away into an alarm state. Brilliant. Didn't even try and do anything. Straight into an alarm and that's halted the program and you can come and investigate what is going on. See, an alarm. Perfect. So I appreciate this was a quick video. I just wanted to quickly demo what a closed loop step motor looks like with the root controller. They're actually pretty cool. If you want to know a bit more about this kit, there is a link below with an affiliate link on a kit that comes with the power supply, step motor driver, and this closed loop step motor. Really cheap from step motor online. I'll highly recommend going to check them out. And yet, like always, if you like the root controller and you want to consider buying one yourself, check out the link below. They're back in stock now. And if you like this video, think I've done a good enough job, or you're interested to find out more about the Root CNC series, please think about like, comment, and subscribing below. As naturally, we've got social channels such as Facebook, Discord, Discourse for a forum based. Um, there it goes. Um, come join us. Links again down in the video description below. Stay tuned for some more episodes like this coming very shortly. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.